It's the 19th of July, this is your Solana Daily Debrief, and today there's a lot of decent alpha. A few hours of research, quite a few hours of research actually, have gone to this one, so you definitely want to watch to the end. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on potential gains. All right, not financial advice, let's move on. Very quickly, a little bit up. I mean, Bitcoin slightly down, but basically souls up and everything looks quite healthy. We're just going to touch on this very quickly, because remember with this channel, the goal is that you use dApps, you look after your funds with self-custody. You don't have a lot of stuff on exchanges necessarily. You've got good security. You don't get scammed. You use different wallets. You basically make money by actually using the blockchain as the blockchain was intended, as opposed to leveraging up, leveraging down and getting wrecked like most people. Every now and then someone will do very, very well, but most of the time they will get wrecked. So we do it a different way. You can do it both ways, but we do it this different way because over the long run, it just so many more people win if you just follow actionables every day so same pump says uh the death cross to golden cross took four days the bear stream was extremely short-lived and basically germany managed to sell most of the supply otc and big players are just eating it up demand for bitcoin is extremely bullish mag says this ba -ba -ba -ba. remember like if we have a look at this i mean this is only up to eighty-one thousand, so maybe within the next few months certainly possible but remember the bull runs until next year the really simple thesis, which basically goes over what I just said now, is buy Bitcoin 500 days before the halving, hold, do nothing, and then sell 500 days after halving and repeat. It's not exactly what I'm referring to when I just said what I just said, but basically, if you leverage in this time and you just want to maximize your gains, I don't know how it works so poorly for most traders, like 90 something percent, but it does. I think it's like 95 percent of traders will lose money. So we can't obviously go back in time and start buying Sol or start buying Bitcoin or whatever, play with apps like Jito, which was a very lucrative airdrop. But what we can do is we can stay away from leverage unless we're very familiar with it. Blunt thinks BTC is going to go up and do not max long with him on Bybit though. You will be wrecked. However, remember he also called the Sol bottom, but the Sol hasn't bottom. It will go up. Bitcoin, this is very interesting. I haven't, I'm not familiar with this, but basically... The retail invest demand is at a three year low. This is measured by transactions under 10K. And so when we start to see this go up, that's when I think things will go a little bit more crazy because at the moment it's led by institutions and whales. And when the retail comes in and they're not so scared, it's a little bit more hypey. Of course, they're not going to buy here. They'll buy the first part of the top and then hopefully this cycle more sell at the top. But just keep in mind that we haven't really gotten retail yet. Now, if you're traveling today or anything like this, you're going to have some difficulty with airports, not in all countries, but basically there's this global technical outage that's impacting Microsoft based PCs and basically blue screen of death. Uh, banks, airlines, media outlets all hit by this, which is crazy. It does say down here, Web3 fixes this. Don't know how at all. Someone let me know. I'm, I'm keen to know. Basically, anyone using CrowdStrike is feeling the pain. So lots of Australian banks here, AWS. I'm not sure exactly who's going to be affected, but it's it's not going to be it's not going to be nice. You could have some difficulty traveling. Next, we've got Bricks. So Bricks is like a new kind of collaborate collaboration of a token or a currency rather. It's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. So all these countries want to back each other in some way so that they do not have to be beholden to the US dollar. Anyway, so South Africa has gone ahead and they are either they're creating the Tsar coin, which is on-chain stable coin. I don't know who's creating it in, in South Africa. Basically, it will be one-to-one -one with the South African Rand. Now onto the next news. So Solana. So next LFG launch with Jupiter is going to be Dbridge. Obviously, they're going to do some sort of airdrop, I imagine. And people are probably going to FUD that as well. Probably not going to FUD it as much as Cloud and Sanctum. But overall, I'm really excited for Sanctum. And I... I've said this before, and in case you don't watch all my videos, you should subscribe. But basically, I think the earnestness allocation was too much. I agree with that. However, they've already made the mistake, or they've already made their decision, rather. And now, if people are going to go FUD violently, my viewpoint is mute the people that are just there to cause you grief. Because there's no point in losing sleep, and people will lose sleep. It will make you sick. You wanted to make something amazing. You've got people that are really, really unhappy with what you've done. I guess this kind of simulations didn't really anticipate this perfectly. And then now they'll be starting to feel like sick in the stomach. 
And all I'm saying is like they're building something epic with everybody. Anyone that's building something epic, if you're going to go ahead and just like aggressively fun, and there's not many people here on this channel that are doing that, but just be better. Leave your feedback, be civil, and just be aware. And I don't want to highlight them, but they're either douches or they're, they're people with douchey behavior. And these people are basically, they're going out prominent accounts on Twitter and they're just shitting on Sanctum so hard, but with, but with like just crap like with with crap and when i've called out people they're like oh it's a joke mate it's a joke lighten up it's just not worth my time and i don't think it's worth yours either if you don't like cloud sell it if you like it hold it whatever but it's as simple as that anyway cloud is live so you can go and actually grab um your allocation if you have an allocation or you can wait until the end of 14 days so like 13 more days now let's have a look at this so camino has a pool with cloud and inf with 100,000 cloud rewards over the next month this is the current price of cloud it's very stable at like 30 cents so that makes it very good for farming we don't know how long it's going to stay like that but that makes it good so when we're getting um this amount of cloud which is very very decent when we extrapolate all the math there's a hundred percent boosted apy fee plus 26 percent in fees that's decent like i'm not claiming my cloud yet but i would happily buy some cloud Put in some inf i already have some inf flick it in and earn some liquidity i'm not going to show you because i've shown you how to use Camino so many times but maybe i will do a video on the jupiter channel so that we get more views over there and also it's helpful withdrawals are now live you can withdraw your pro rata refund from your out of your vault i also cover this put it on the jupiter channel so make sure you watch that the cloud airdrop is visible in your sanctum wallet on your mobile phone only otherwise you can use airdrop.link and bybit is massive and they are looking at the potential of Bybit Soul. This would be very good for the Solana ecosystem just in general. NX Finance, um, sorry, I know you've DM'd me, but I've uh, forgotten to reply. This is like a competitor to, competitor to Adrestrea Finance. So I don't know if it's audited or anything like that. I know Jussie and Fabiano mentioned this quite a bit, but basically this is supposed to be Delta neutral strategy. This could be something that you, you wanna give a, a go to. I haven't made a tutorial. I don't think I need to. Um, maybe I'll make something like really, really quick. I'm, I'm unsure if you need a beta access code here. And I, I guess first I'll ping and find out if there's some sort of audit on it. But uh, Delta neutral strategies, if they're not exploited, of course, they make a lot of sense. Bonk and the update with Manta Network. So uh, phase three is coming up. This relates to Ledger. The Manta team is aware of this issue. And they've also done something, so maybe my tutorial video doesn't make complete sense because they've removed the first step of Manta ETH verification to make your experience smoother. But I don't really know what's going on here. However, the fact that Bonk is even partnering with them, I think is plus EV. So maybe they're going to do some pretty cool stuff over there. We'll see. Bonkbot has got faster and their response time is faster as well. And this is a new app out, which has Web2 product market fit. Not for us on this channel but something to grab your friends and get them um, into. Moonshot on iOS, go and buy meme coins with your Apple ID, and then you can sell it and just turn it into cash. I'm sure there's going to be some decent fees. And remember with meme coins, most people will get wrecked. Next up from Sendcoin, introducing the Blinkathon. I'll be very, very transparent here. So the actual Send token, I don't like it. I've mentioned it before, but I don't like that they did a pre-sale and they didn't announce a pre-sale. So it put on a lot more kind of uh, when we saw $100 million in the vault, which could have been just from people that held like pre-sales and they just went in and they just wanted to pump it up, which is smart. But because they never mentioned that a pre-sale had happened, like it was just brutal and like just leading lambs to slaughter. So I've mentioned this to uh, Efren, the guy behind Cubic, who's also behind Sandcoin. And I've said like, I think that was mercenary behavior. That was really dishonest, a lack of transparency. That's you know that's certainly just getting straight to the point i get that so i'm going to cover sendcoin itself from what they're doing so they've got a blink hackathon which is cool this is 20th to the 21st get in this if you're keen and if you can then make a cool blink and also just to give them a little bit of credit if we come on down to here if you read through this in its entirety it does mention how um you know like overall the launch was hugely successful overall yeah no maybe but basically um it goes over the fact that they did give out this pre-sale 
I'll just find it. Let's say we had zero paid key opinion leaders and we were the primary Blinks think tank for the Solana ecosystem. I would say pre-sailing with that kind of expectation. It's not really, we're not really a paid KOL, I guess, just to be accurate. But it is a little bit like that. You've gone with specific people that are pumping your bags. Then down here, the launch was heavily sniped as well. And this was terrible. Basically, it put things to 160 million fully diluted valuation before settling down to like 30 to 50 million fully diluted valuation. But it was even worse than that. Like the sniper bots, because we had an alpha vault, it shouldn't have been that bad. But because there was such a lack of funds in that alpha vault, it was absolutely brutal. Then it says 10% will be airdropped in the next few days, all completely via Blinks. We will specifically exclude mercenary entity communities and instead reward the Blinks community, send it holders, etc, etc, etc. So I don't know when the snapshot's been done on this and it still hasn't been mentioned. This is kind of the point I'm just referring to in terms of the transparency. Should someone go and buy a Blinkit NFT now? If they hold it in their wallet, will that count? Do they have to delist it? They are all the kind of questions that I think are relevant. It does say they're going to exclude the mercenary NFT communities. Here they're referring to the ones that they gave uh, the pre-sale to, I think, for the most part, and then they made massive profit. The thing is, they reached out to these NFT communities. They offered something and then more hype came and they didn't try and renegotiate anything or they didn't want to go and put in more funds into the liquidity pool or whatever. My point is, with the token, it was just poorly done really poorly done. The Sendcoin kind of ecosystem, like they need the Sendcoin to do well, but it was done poorly, but everything else they're doing is good. Having said that, we know that tokens are hard. And when we have a look at the Send token, we can kind of ignore the first part, right? But even if we ignore the first part, it's just been down um, until, until a little bit of a, a kick up here. So if we kind of go like this, we're down about 57%. Nevertheless, let's go and see what intent.trade says. Now remember, this is an AI tool. It gives us artificial intelligence based on like different metrics and chart analysis. So we're not we're not doing everything that it says here. It's just a guide. Up 29%, you might think, well, let's go get it. So current trend per the chart analysis feature, sideways and confidence level is high. The signal right now is a buy and the stop loss price is at this price. So you could go and buy it if you wanted to. Or you could try and set a limit order here and then set a stop loss price at here. And you can do this all via GM Wallet. Check out my tutorial on this. Or you can set things like this. Set a limit order to buy send if it drops by 10%. We can do the same charting analysis and just overall kind of token analysis, which gives us all this sort of stuff on cloud. So token analysis here and then chart analysis. This here is a sideway current trend. Of course, it can always change, but we can see support and resistance signal no trading this is actually good because if this is accurate and i mean it's it's accurate based on the information right but it's not going to always be right so if this is correct this is a good time to actually grab some cloud and inf and go and farm at over 100 percent get the met points of course and get commuter points and get some gains next bit news breakpoint i'll be going to breakpoint cash will be there many other people will be going there let me know if you're going if you're not going you should be going. It's going to be a little bit expensive because it's Singapore and it's just a very hyped week. But in general, I think it's going to be very worthwhile. Do you remember Infinex? I spoke about this, I think in May, but then it just fell off the radar. Well, it's back on the radar. So what you need to do is if you haven't signed up already, is just stay tuned for a, another video. I'll do another video. So we're going to go and log in, log in with the passkey. I use one password. I suggest other people use one password as well. Put it in. Count balance is now displayed here and I have some boosts. I don't know if this is because of referrals or what, but I put in 550. I have this in terms of staking. I need to work it all out because there's 5 million crates and most of them have been allocated because I got slow here. I've got nothing here. Um, so I'm going to do a tutorial today and get it out. But these guys, these are the same guys behind Synthetics. Synthetics was massive in the last bull run. They've tried to make this a very friendly system. And if we go back to their Twitter, we're probably going to see. So Kane is the person behind them, uh, like the boss or founder, or whatever. Um, and there's no retweets here. But basically, I have seen people opening crates and getting like 5,000 pith rewards from it. They've been very decent. And it's kind of some sort of randomized system. I have a referral. I'll put it below. 
and I will do a decent tutorial on this later on. Almost at the final bit of news. So Brandon Tucker from the Golfin team, he's a contributor there. He has done a short video on Golfin and just basically how you can uh, grab all the cards, complete sets, cache them in order to earn points and climb the leaderboard. And that's going to translate into the golf token soon. Now I'm doing a very properly decent deep dive video into this and that's still being edited. So once that comes out and it's going to be probably my best deep dive, like the amount of research that's been put into any video, it will be that. So make sure you watch that. This is something I'm personally very bullish on. I can't golf like to save my life. I can't even, I can't do anything well with golf, but I want to be able to. And even if you can't golf, this is still potentially for you. The final thing is, Obviously here, I, I'm working on my YouTube channel and making it better and better. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be improved. So I've got like new thumbnails as an example. One other thing is I put out a post, but basically there's a new system here and I want to know, I want feedback. Do people like this? Do people not like this? And just be, just be honest with the feedback. So as an example, one person said, this was created by my editor and they said, we don't like, or she doesn't like that it's on an angle because it, it makes it seem like you've made an error. Some people have said it's a cool transition, but it distracts me or whatever. Ultimately, I want this to be more engaging. So I need people's ideas and I want you to let me know what you do or do not like regarding this template. Actionables, wait 13 days to claim your full cloud allocation or claim it now and sell or do whatever you like. Uh, check out this. As I said, I'm going to enter this. I'm not claiming any of my cloud. I'm just going to buy some cloud. Turn on notifications for community's update on PYUSD borrow, or just in general, just notifications. The Bonk Manta rewards video, check it out. Consider minting your D-Pioneers NFT. I covered this yesterday and I'm minting all of mine. I've minted most of them. I just need to find the other wallets. Withdraw your USDC from Cloud's Alpha Vault. So you can put it to yield, put into Lulu, whatever. And airdrop actionables, D-Bridge, really time sensitive. I think early in August will be when they're actually going to go live. And when they go live, um, and actually the airdrop happens, the, the LFG launch happens. I don't know when the cutoff date is for points. Once again, check out the Cloud9 F Meteor LP on Camino. Just putting it here because you earn MET points. So anytime it's a MET vault, I'm far more bullish on it. 20 million bonk with bonk rewards, earn points with Cube Exchange, just going to rewards and just checking in daily. And I have a referral here, Backpack Exchange. It's not available where I live, but use this. Maybe there's a potential Monad airdrop. That's all for today. If you liked it, like it. If you loved it, subscribe. Catch you in the next video.